Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku. Bringing you a volcano update Friday, October 22nd, around 8.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. You're looking at La Palma's impressive cinder cone, which is now stabilizing and building. Now, this is good news for the volcano. It means that the volatile gases beneath in the magma chamber could be, well, they could be regulating. And this is a more stable volcanic environment. This is a Strombolian cinder cone, an effusive volcano, not a stratocone uh, or an explosive volcano in any way. It is a Strombolian volcano, means it has these small, spectacular spray events of volcano, of lava. And that is a Strombolian volcano, just like Stromboli, which the name was uh, gotten from. And so here in, at Canary Islands, we have another Strombolian volcano, which is has been erupting less and less lava. Unfortunately, the lava streams are now hitting La Laguna, which is uh, a population center, and that's not good. But first, let's talk about Volcano, volcano, and that's in the Aeolian Islands in Italy. Unrest continues with strong gas emissions and uplift. Now, we predicted an eruption here about two weeks ago, and, well, the uplift is ongoing. Volcanic unrest continues on the island with the Roman name of the volcano god, Volcano. The Italian Monitoring Institute, INGV, has been increasing its monitoring and installed more measurement devices in order to better detect changes in the parameters. Ground deformation has decreased a little bit, but remains elevated at 21 millimeters uplift compared to before the crisis. Now, magma-derived sulfur dioxide emissions were measured around 150 tons per day, which is much higher than the background levels of 20 to 30 tons. So we're keeping a close eye on Volcano. Volcano, only 100 people on this island, which is good news compared to the 80,000 on La Palma. Now, Etna Volcano, volcanic tremor has been slowly rising. This is after an entire summer of paroxysms we could be heading into another paroxysm in tandem with the reported increase in activity in the form of Strombolian explosion, explosions at the southeast crater. Volcanic tremor has been gradually rising, which means a big event could be coming soon. Whether this is the first sign the volcano is headed towards another fire fountaining episode known as a paroxysm, well... 50 times this year alone will be likely to be seen in the near future. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Paroxysm coming in just 24 hours. And there is the data set we're using. That is the seismic tremor underneath of Edna. Beautiful music. Let's talk about Kilauea. If you don't know about Two Pineapples and other view, uh, YouTube channels, there are many places to watch the Kilauea volcano erupting live. I didn't pull one up because our bandwidth is limited. So let's deal with it. Kilauea Volcano Activity Field Report today. Beautiful full moon rising yesterday over the volcano right there. Now let's get to some of the stats. The effusive eruption at the volcano is ongoing. Low-level spattering is seen from the western fissure, which continues to build the horseshoe-shaped spatter cone. Small lava fountains about 5 meters tall with occasional bursts up to 10 meters are feeding the lava into the growing Halaimuamua crater. Sulfur dioxide emissions remain elevated at approximately 2,700 2, tons per day measured on the 17th of October, uh, which we can make a comparison to Volcano Vulcan, which we just discussed, which is at 150 tons per day. So much smaller amount compared to this, which is a much bigger volcano. Now, seismic recordings show continuous ground vibration, volcanic tremor as magma pushes its way towards the surface and continues to fill. The caldera. So we're keeping a close eye on that for you, but no imminent risk. Now let's talk about La Palma. Eruption continues to destroy La Laguna town, unfortunately, and this could be the most destructive phase of the eruption, albeit the eruption appears to well be changing the corner as we predicted just five days ago. And everyone has been, well, quite upset at our prediction, although it's probably true. The eruption continues at similar levels as the past week with no signs that could fuel hopes that it might stop anytime soon. Well, this was written just six hours before the next update that we'll share with you. Lava flows have reached the center of La Laguna, which is, in course, being more or less completely destroyed by lava. And we do have that map here for you. 
Now, there is a section in this region which they're trying to get dogs out of, I believe, or maybe it's this larger area. Regardless, this is the major city here, La Laguna, and you can see the new lava arms are pushing further and further into that populated realm. Just bad news for the people of La Laguna, uh, where most of the people are living. So this is really a crushing blow. Now let's take a quick look at earthquakes today. There has been an increase in seismicity. After a large decrease in seismicity, which we'll show you in just a second, the earthquakes are now, as of today, in the last 24 hours, there have been 136 quakes. This is approaching the maximum, which was about 155 quakes in one day. The, the largest magnitude today was just a 4.2, pales in comparison to the 4.8, so uh, no large events. We will get to the cross section, but first I want to get to some of the histograms. Now we were predicting this volcano is going to die off because the amount of seismic activity was dropping off on the histogram. You could see it there. You could see it here, but in just the last few days, there has been a slight uptick, but there's good news. This slight uptick is going to be short lived. And just let's look at the blue graph here up top. Boom, 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 and straight down. It's going to be short-lived because there is good news coming from the tiltimeters. But first, we'll take a, a look at that increased seismicity here. Take a look at that in three dimensions. And our first surface quake here at five kilometers or shallower in the, over a week. Take a look at that. And then we've had this string of deep quakes. This is signaling something, and this is certainly signaling a change in the volcanic activity, which means that things could be coming to a closure point in the very near future. Now let's take a quick look here back at the volcano and see what she's doing. And we'll give you, here are some of the lava flows. You can see the purple is the newest, but the cinder cone has now stabilized and is growing quite, quite rapidly. This is quite a big feature above La Laguna and it will be famous for decades to come. There'll be trails up here and it will be a tourist attraction. Mark my words. But you can see that the activity is becoming more stabilized with standard Strombolian fountaining and building of that cinder cone. This cinder cone walls are going to continue to thicken if this activity remains the same and rise. And we'll eventually have a quite a spectacularly large cinder cone above the city of La Laguna. Absolutely fantastic what geology and the power of Mother Nature can bring to us. Now, the last update, which is over 12 hours old, is good news. Lava effusion and quake activity remain high. We just went over that with you. But the first signs of hope from deflation. And it doesn't have anything to do with the money on La Palma, which will probably def deflate anyway. But this green line represents the beginning of the eruption. And you can see here a drop down on this tiltimeter and a slow pick up and rising back up to normal levels. That's the first sign. This is the uplift in the section where the eruption is happening. And prior to the eruption in that area, the tiltimeter was rising rapidly. It rose 240 millimeters, for goodness sakes. And it erupted at that rupture point right here when the ground ruptured. It's been spewing lava and peaking, in fact, last week, as we said, and it's been dropping off precipitously since then. In the recent days, the inf it's been deflating quite considerably, which means that there is no more magma being emplaced into the upper chamber. So the upper magma chamber is now no longer being fed from at depth and is now, now being depleted at the surface, which is why the volcano is becoming more stabilized and building a cinder cone because it's eventually, eventually going to stop erupting once the magma is out of the chamber. And if we would extend this out to the future, that would be in two or three weeks when all volcanic activity could come to an end. Now, volcanoes are finicky. This could just stop erupting tomorrow. And it would be our guess that in one or two weeks, or in that time frame, we should see significant decrease in activity here, which is good news. Now, everyone is looking for a catastrophe in the end of the world these days. I don't know why. I've blocked so many insane people that they're just praying for something catastrophic to kill them and everyone in their area, which is completely mind boggling. Well, the times are tough, but even in the toughest times in my paradigm, man is as happy 
as they set their mind to be. Now, could Astra erupt sometime soon in Iceland? Of course it could. We've been predicting this eruption now for months. And it looks like it might be coming true. There's more activities uh, centering here on the Austria region as well down here as Katla. And the Reykjanes Ridge is literally light lighting up. But the volcanic tremor is reduced, so there's a lot less tremor happening. So nothing imminent is going to occur. Now, just to bring you up to speed, here's where the Reykjanes Ridge eruption is happening here in Glendengalda on the Fagladersfall Mountain. And here's where Ascha is up here. And this volcano erupts VEI 3, 4, or 5. So that would be a very big event coming soon. Grimsvotten is also one that's on the watch. There's some jockey lips coming from it. As the pressure releases, more seismic activity should be happening here on the glacier. And this baby could potentially erupt. But we also see a small swarm here at Katla down here, which is still green. They haven't turned that yellow. So it could be a heads up on Katla. Ashja is the highest percentage, followed by Grimsvotten, and then another paroxysm down here, potentially at Kelir. So, a lot to report on. And before we go any further, I just want to bring you up to speed on the scale of volcanic eruption. A lot of people think that uh, what's happening in La Palma is unique or spectacular, but in no way. It pales in comparison to even recent eruptions. Now, what I'm showing you here is Stromboli Volcano, and earlier in the video, we talked about the Strombolian nature of Cumbre Vieja, the La Palma eruption. It's the same as Stromboli. And we're going to begin the comparison with Stromboli showing 500 meter plumes, which would be about 1,500 feet. The current eruption at Cumbre Vieja barely gets above 13,000 feet. So it's around 400 meters, which is at VEI 1, small VEI 2. And that would be Stromboli. And then we're going to roll you through all of the recent eruptions all the way up to Yellowstone and VEI-8. So take a look. Get in there. And there you have it. This eruption, which we can barely see, is the Cumbre Vieja Strombolian eruption from a cinder cone volcano. Lake Toba caused a mass extinction. Yellowstone, another mass extinction. The year without a summer, here. This eruption at Krakatoa is over 100,000 times bigger than what's happening on La Palma. So, if you think a global tsunami is coming from what's happening on that island, you have a lot to learn. And that's why you're watching our channel. Now, volcanologists warn the world is unprepared for the next major eruption. And based on that video we just watched, I'm sure you could agree. The Mount St. Helens eruption was just VEI-5. And we are long overdue for a VEI-7 or greater eruption. And that, well, that is certainly a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video tonight. It certainly was a learning experience for all of us. 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And be safe. We love you. That's a boom. No, no, no.